It's Good News with Gary, featuring University of Akron President Gary L. Miller. Hi, everyone. It's great to see the faces of our staff and contract professionals back on campus. We look forward to our faculty and students returning next week. Here's some good news from the University of Akron. First, I want to share some news about national recognition for one of the university's most popular programs. A new ranking by Daily Game, an international magazine that covers video game sports and news, has ranked UA's eSports program as the second best in the country. The magazine's rationale for the high ranking included access to early classes, a practice arena, and other top-notch facilities, tutoring, and other academic support, and access to scholarships. Esports director Nate Meeker estimates that nearly 10% of the UA student body is involved in some aspect of the esports program. Congratulations to Nate, who's put a lot of effort into elevating this program nationally and providing a unique opportunity for students to be involved in the campus community. The university had some great news about a new award supporting our Choose Ohio First STEM scholarship program. UA was notified that we will receive nearly $720,000 in new support for this program, which aims to recruit and graduate more students in the fields of science, technology, engineering, mathematics, and medicine. This award will enable the university to provide financial assistance to more students who are pursuing careers in STEM. UA has been involved in the State of Ohio funded program since 2009, and we've been very successful with it. Year to year, our retention rate for Choose Ohio First program students has been more than 90%. I'm very pleased that Choose Ohio First continues to open opportunities for all types of students to achieve their higher education goals. UA has announced hirings for several campus leadership positions and we're thrilled to have new people in place or starting in their new roles in the next few months. Following board approval in December from the UA Board of Trustees, Dr. Gwen Price is our new Senior Vice Provost in the Office of Academic Affairs. Dr. Price will focus on oversight of a wide range of strategic initiatives. Those include accreditation, academic policies, faculty hiring, development, and support. She will also play an essential role in fostering shared governance and supporting student, faculty, and academic program success. Dr. Price comes to us from Pennsylvania Western University, where she was Associate Provost and Dean of the College of Education, overseeing three campuses. We're also pleased to have selected Dr. Daniel Friesner as Dean of the College of Health and Human Sciences. Dr. Friesner currently serves as Senior Associate Dean for the College of Health Professions at North Dakota State University, Professor of Pharmacy Practice, and Director of the Bachelor of Science in Health Services program. As our new dean, he'll be responsible for sustaining and growing the college's excellence in teaching, scholarship, and service. He'll start his position in June 2023. Welcome to both Dr. Price and Dr. Friesner as they join our efforts to keep the promises we make to our students and our community. Finally, our annual observance of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day is approaching, and I want to note that the university is hosting a community event featuring one of our UA colleagues. Dr. Keto D. March Sr., who is the manager of the Computer-Based Assessment and Testing in UA Counseling and Testing Center, is the pastor of Second Calvary Missionary Baptist Church in Cleveland. Pastor March will share his perspectives on the topic, Remaining Focused During Critical Times. The event will be held at noon on Friday, January 13th in the Gene Howard Tabor Student Union Gardner Theater. It's free and open to the community. Thank you to the Office of Inclusion, Equity, and the Office of Multicultural Development and the Department of Student Life for sponsoring this gathering. Well, that's some of the recent good news from the University of Akron. Please join me soon for another Good News with Gary podcast. And of course, go Zips! Go Zips!